Hello my loves, welcome back to my channel. If you're brand new, my name is Jessica Alexandria. I'm the creator of Bahati Life Apothecary. Thank you so much for tuning in. For those of you guys that are with me every week, as you can tell, we are in the most beautiful place, in my opinion, in the world. One of the most beautiful places in the world and it is an honor and I'm so grateful to be able to share this moment, the sunshine, the breeze, the sand, the water with you right now. We have all of the elements here, so I'm definitely vibing. This is a high vibe. So obviously, we are gonna be talking about the week ahead. And, you know, there's a lot of things that are coming up for me, for all of us this week. Um, one of the main things that's standing out to me is depth, intimacy, and also the ability to have fun, the ability to play, to be la to have to laugh, to have fun, to be uh, jovial, to be lighthearted, to let your hair down, to let your guard down a little bit. That doesn't mean that you be overly exposed or that everything and everyone has access to your energy this week, but it's really about exploring your options. It's really about seeing what, um, what can come through if you allow it to come through. This means allowing your energy to flow. Allow yourself to really connect with your vibrations. Does something feel like a high vibe to you or does it feel like a lower vibration to you? And the only person Person who can answer that question honestly at the end of the day is always going to be you so that's what it is that I'm seeing as I'm looking at the chart which I don't know if you guys can see this but I have my my MacBook pulled up here in front of me there is a hyper focus on the planet Mercury and Mercury rules our communication it rules our thoughts it rules what we think what we say it rules how we are um, how we process information if it's fast if it's slow and what, when we do process it, what does it mean to us? What is it, where does it fit in our lives? This is one of those weeks right before we enter into eclipse season because that's gonna be lit. That's gonna be like every, every two, two weeks, every, every moon, it's gonna be you know, a game-changing moment. So you really wanna take this week before we even enter into eclipse season, and that's gonna be happening around the 30th the no November 30th. So before we enter into eclipse season, I really want you guys to hyper focus and prioritize your feelings, your vibes, and really being open to being playful, being open, being receptive before you start going into this active mode of this is what is that I'm doing, this is how I'm doing it, this is the way that we've always done it. Again, I've been saying this all year that the way that we've been doing things, our foundation, how it's been established, how it's been set for us is rapidly changing very, very quickly. Milestones, like the milestones that we are making are things that if you think about it, if you take a step back, you would think, how could I have made so much progress? How could we have made so much pro progress in such a small amount of time? It is only in 2020 that it could have happened. And that is so magnet. That's so magnificent. That's so impressive. That's so um, powerful. But as we're doing that, you know, you really want to learn so much about being open, about being um, a channel to your own higher self, to the divine and the messages that are coming through to you, okay? So always check in with your own intuition, always check in with how things feel for you. Um, Pluto, I'm sorry, not Pluto, Neptune. Neptune is really getting my attention this week because it's been retrograde for, um, for a while and now that she's gonna be starting, uh, moving direct on the 29th and then we have the eclipse, it's interesting because I feel as though, you know, I don't know who needs to hear this or, you know, where this message, message is going to resonate, but there's certain things that have been, that you may not have said or other people may not have said to you, but that need to be said, that need to be expressed, that need to be shared, information, news that could really be life-changing or at least make someone, make you or someone else, um, their decision would change. So. Neptune actually rules illusion and fantasy, which is not necessarily a bad thing because um, Neptune can really paint the world or paint an object or a person or a thing in such a beautiful light that others may not be able to see it. That's where our creativity comes from. That's where our access to the divine comes from. That's where the access our un to unconditional love comes from. But at the same time, it can be a little deceptive because if you peel back the layer or if you um, pull back the, the curtain, you will see, you know what, what it was that I was thinking, this was maybe not, isn't necessarily that. So this is again, one of those reasons why I'm saying, you know, really stay open 
to the different energies and follow your intuition. Your intuition will, will ping faster and let you know if something is right or something is wrong quicker than logic or, or realistic or um, tangible thinking will ever. All right, so especially now that Neptune is gonna be moving direct again on the 29th, this is truly about, you know, and that's the thing I was just, I was just about to say that it's a really about finding out new information, new pers- not new perspectives, but it could be a secret, it could be information, it could be a message that if you if you once you get this tidbit, once you get this fact, it's kind of a game changer in the fact that you just decide, you know what? I would like to do things differently. That's not ultimately what it is I see for myself. Um, and that's not that not the energy or what it is that I see myself building or whatever the case is. Um, while I'm saying that, you guys, I want to go back to what it was I said originally, which is, you know, to just kind of go with the flow. Sometimes people, I've noticed this, sometimes people when they hear that things are going to change or that when they share a bit of information or that when they receive a bit of information that, you know, they're so frustrated because they were so invested in it and they were building towards it that once they find this little blip that they're like, damn it, like all is lost. You know, it's, it's, you know, I have to start from the ground up. But I want you guys to remember, and as I'm saying that, fish are jumping in this lake, and right beyond the lake is the is the ocean, which is so beautiful, you guys. I I'm I'm gonna do my best to show you at the end of this video, hopefully, where it is that I'm at. But it is stunning. But anyways, um, this is what it is that I'm saying about being fluid, being open, and flowing, going with the flow, and that when certain information comes through it's not that you did anything wrong it's not that someone else did anything wrong or that it all is for nothing it's just the universe is always looking out for you the universe does have your back and when it shows this tidbit this you know it's almost like divine intervention or a divine message that comes through that intercepts you before you go too far take those ideas those brilliant ideas that brilliant vision that is that you have for yourself this intention that is that you're setting that you're building that is already in the works and just pick it up and place it in the spot that it is that it most belongs that that's what you guys how you want to look at it don't look at it as all is lost this is a fail you know I messed up how could I have not seen this there's no way that you would have seen it and if someone needs to hear that as confirmation for something that they've been wrestling with in their spirit you did not know until you know and when you know then you do better then you could switch up and this is the week and definitely the Gemini um, eclipse that we have the opportunity to switch things up and do things differently based upon the information that is that we are receiving so that's something that's definitely coming through Neptune like I said I'm sorry Neptune Neptune, yes, but Mercury is doing the most this week. Hi, how's it going? Oh, hey. What you doing? <laughs> I'm filming. Oh, doing a class or something? Yeah, I am. I'm live right now. Okay. <laughs> no, you're good. <laughs> Like I was saying before, Mercury is doing the absolute most when it comes to communication, when it comes to messengers, people who, you know, people are things that are coming up out of the blue. So do your best to work with it, stay open with it, um, channel it, download those messages, capture them as much as you can. Again, just as Mercury rules thoughts and words um, and thinking and ideas, it, it rules things that you write down, that you capture, that you document and keep them in a journal and I guarantee you after the eclipse, after the uh, Gemini full, full moon eclipse, um, which is going to be major, um, you know, that's when we're going to really start seeing things, you know, spinning up left and right, doing the most, okay? So, <laughs> that was, I loved his, um, his uh, American Speedo. That was great. Uh, but moving forward, you guys, another thing that it is that I want to share with you guys that's coming through, especially with Neptune energy, is honoring <laughs> your feelings of sensitivity, how things make you feel, and honoring your vibes, um, knowing when to stay, knowing when to go. You know what I mean? So, um, and then also Neptune is so easily connected to compassion, to kindness, to gentleness, to consideration, to unconditional love, and I'm really getting this deep breath of fresh air that it is I'm feeling you guys not only on a physical but on a spiritual it feels like you're taking a deep breath of fresh air you're releasing it and that is going to to me when I see that it looks like what forgiveness 
feels like. So if there's something or someone that you need to forgive or there's aspects within yourself that you need to forgive, that you need to let go of, that you need to surrender, be open to that as well because this is one of those weeks, especially before the eclipses start occurring, where you want to really honor your feelings, honor your sensitivity, honor your healing, be very gentle, loving, compassionate, and kind with yourself and with others and be totally open to the flow. I hope this message makes sense, you guys. I know that I'm saying a lot in a small amount of time. I know that there's a few distractions that are going on around us, but honestly, I just could not resist. The vibes are so high today and I just wanted to share that with you guys and get the week started off so strong. Today is Sunday that it is I'm filming, so it's one of those days that's really important and meaningful for me. It's really about relaxation, but when I'm relaxing and when I'm in the, vi in the vibe and when I'm in the zone and spirit's like, yo, today is a great day. It was actually supposed to rain today, you guys. All of this was supposed to be cloudy and overcast and gloomy, and it was. And then as soon as I came out here, the sun, the, the clouds broke, the sun came out, and it's just been, you know, we got homeboy walking around in his American flag speedo. Come on, it doesn't get any better than that. A little weird, but you know, honoring it. I'm honoring it, I'm here for it. So I hope that this message um, meets you guys with perfect divine timing. If you haven't already, make sure that you are subscribed to this YouTube channel because there's plenty more videos where this came from, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.